Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're reviewing the Propella 9S Pro. Come along with us while we check it out. The Propella 9S Pro V2 is the classic commuter e-bike we need. It's not trying to be too much. It's not trying to be a trail bike on the weekends or a dual-use cargo utility bike. Sure, you can add a rack, but that's, that's not the point. It's designed to be a solid performing urban commuter bike, and by focusing on that single roll, it does it really well. For example, there's no suspension, but you do get wider 2-inch tires than you'll find on many urban e-bikes. You get adjustable handlebars and included fenders, you get real metal pedals instead of cheap plastic platforms, and you get a 9-speed Shimano transmission. Now it is nice to see the 9 speeds, especially since this is both a commuter bike and a pedal assist only bike, but ironically, I basically left it in 9th gear all the time. Now I am riding in a pancake flat city, so gears are just sort of an unnecessary feature for me. But if you do live in a hilly area, then you'll likely appreciate having 9 gear ratios to choose from. Now I mentioned that this is a pedal assist only bike which means I've already lost a significant portion of you guys. But that's all right, because if you're still here, then that means you probably aren't afraid of spinning the pedals, or you just support my videos, both of which are good. And believe me, this is a really nice bike to pedal. It's got a torque sensor, which means that the pedal assist is nice and responsive, giving you a much more natural feeling ride without the typical lagginess or jerkiness that you'll find in most low cost electric bikes that only have cadence sensors for their pedal assist. It is hard for me to explain just how beautiful of a thing a torque sensor is. If you start pedaling, boom, you just have instantaneous power. It doesn't dump it like a rocket, it doesn't take a few seconds to come on, there's no stop start stop start, you're not locked into a certain speed, it's just comfortable, intuitive, natural feeling. This is how a comfortable e-bike was meant to feel. There's just no better way to do pedal assist than with a torque sensor. So yeah, I'm pretty positive about the Propella 9S Pro V2's torque sensor, but there's even more to the bike than just that. I find the screen to be a really nice upgrade from the displays we're used to seeing from Propella, giving the bike an even classier feel. It is a bit hard to see in the sun with that color screen, but it's not terrible. And since the bike only goes 20 miles an hour as a class 1 bike, and not 28 like a class 3 bike, it's not like your eyes are going to be watering or vibrating and unable to read it. Now would I have liked a 28 mile per hour e-bike? Sure, class 3 is always nice to have. But the bike feels really good at 20, and that 500 watt peak rated rear motor has the power to get it there easily without adding a lot of extra weight for a bulkier motor needed on class 3 e-bikes. And one of the best features is it's just so lightweight, 43 and a half pounds, that's not even 20 kilos. When you're used to picking up a 50, 60, 70 pound e-bike, I've seen e-bikes up to 100 pounds. 43 and a half pounds, that's nothing. This thing feels like a featherweight. Going upstairs with this thing is just so much nicer. And I'm not even done with the nice features. The hydraulic brakes are crisp and punchy. They're actually good hydraulics. They're not just checking a box, but they're actually feeling good and providing quick confidence stops. Of course, the relatively light weight of the bike at around 43 pounds helps, as many e-bikes these days are 20 to 30 pounds heavier, and it's always easier to stop a lighter bike. Now as usual though, I've got some complaints here too. The battery, it's not huge at 36 volts and 350 watt hours, but at least it is removable with the locking key, meaning you can charge it remotely from the bike and you get a powerful charger for a 3 hour recharge. A bigger battery probably would have been nice, but they still claim up to 50 miles of range on lowest power pedal assist, and the lack of a throttle does mean that you're going to get more range than you'd expect if you were used to throttle e-bikes. But hey, at the current sale price of $1,299, this is still a deal. A torque sensor e-bike with nice parts like a through axle front wheel, a lightweight design, and sharp blue on black colorway? I like it, folks. Add in the fact that it's SGS certified to UL standards for both the battery and the bike's drivetrain, and there's a lot of value here for under $1,300. It is for a certain type of rider, namely one that doesn't miss suspension or throttles, but that describes a lot of urban riders. If that's you, then I'd definitely recommend Propella's newest flagship model here. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Propella 9S Pro. If you did, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.